In this problem, we are comparing two different types of interest, simple interest and compound interest. In this particular problem, it says Amanda deposits $90,000 into an account that pays simple interest at a rate of 3% per year. So this money, the bank is going to give Amanda a little bit of return on that money as long as she keeps it in that account. That's what interest is. Sam deposits $90,000, so the same amount, into an account that also pays 3%, so the rates are the same, but it's compounded annually. And we want to find uh, the interest for each of them during the first three years and decide who earns more interest. So with simple interest, it's pretty easy. You take the principal, and the principal is just the amount that you originally put in. So in this case, it's $90,000, and you multiply it by the rate. Now the rate is 3%. Of course, to multiply a percent, we need to convert it to a decimal. So we move the decimal point two places to the left. So our rate is 0 0.03. So to figure out our interest, it's 90,000 times 0 0.03. And that is 2,700. So after the first year, Amanda gets 2,700. And for Amanda, the rest of this is really easy to calculate because the interest is always the same. You take 3% of that principal amount, that first amount that you put in. So at the end of three years, she gets that much more money in her account. Compound interest works a little bit differently. So compound interest is not the principal, it's the amount in the account times the rate. And the amount in the account is going to change every year because the interest gets added to it. Let me show you how that works. In year one, you take the amount in the account, which is $90,000 to start, and you multiply it by 0.3. So we have 90,000 times 0 0.03. And that's 2,700. So for that first year, they earn the same amount of interest, both, both Amanda and Sam. Now, that $2,700 gets added to the amount that's in the bank account. So our total now is $92,700. Our interest for year two is that times the rate. So that's going to be a little bit more. Let me pull up my calculator here, 92,700 times 0 0.03. So for year two, Sam earns $2,781. So $81 more in interest than, than Amanda earned. And then this gets added to our total. So let me do that. So it looks like our, our new total here is 95, 481. And then to get the interest in year three, we multiply that times our rate. So let me do that. And I'm getting 28, 64, 43. So in every successive year, uh, the interest gets bigger and bigger with compound interest. So the interest is the same in the first year, but for any year after, it's going to be bigger for Sam than it is for Amanda. So if you're saving money and you can get a compound interest uh, rather than simple, that's definitely the way to go. So that's a little bit of work in ca calculating and comparing simple and compound interest.